our view out of our window this morning. Oh, what a lovely day. Making the most of that melon that we bought in the market yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that was like me as a child, I just stabbed things. I made a post out. Yeah, I know you did, with your with your clothes on. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just made it, I just like, fell asleep. I woke up and like I saw that melon over there and stuff, so I know you had been up off where I fell asleep. This is up to scratch of a five star hotel. Look at this. Good, yeah, it's good not, job. It's not five star cutting, it's a terrible <laughs> cutting. Good job. I tried to. Yes. Yeah. I will have some. Thank you so much. So good morning, it is now leg five. We've had a lazy start this morning. We've made the most of this hotel, the air conditioning. It's half the temperature in here that it is outside. We made a plan for today and it's gonna be a lot of an easier day. We feel like the last few days we've been absolutely rushing, making the most of every hour that we possibly could. It is now approaching midday, so we really should get a move on. Gonna sort all of our stuff out and then get on the road. So before we got on the road this morning, I thought I'd show you a bit more of my setup because I know I showed you a glimpse before I left and nothing since. So Ribble, as one of my sponsors, have been very, very kind to me for this trip. They have sent me their Ribble Gravel SL, which is a fantastic piece of kit for gravel riding. And luckily for me, it has all of the right setup for bikepacking too, so I can uh, attach all of my pannier bags. And as you can see, it is fully, fully loaded. I've got the big pannier bags from Restrap, which have been absolutely fantastic. Another one of my partners, along with the top tube bag, bar bag, bottle cage holder, and then we've got two fork bags on each side too. The frame is in this beautiful kind of burnt orange color, almost like a copper. And the bike is equipped with Shimano's GRX group set. And it's the first time I've used it. And from what I've seen so far, it's really, really good to use, really comfortable. Just an awesome bit of kit. And let me tell you, it is so much fun to ride perfect choice with those gravel slightly thicker tires for these road surfaces here in Morocco which are sometimes quite questionable. How good do you feel after that hotel room? A bit more undead. I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, it does make such a difference though, doesn't it? Yeah, I think I kind of figured out one of the keys is we, we're actually just eating a lot of fruit and veg. Yeah. Otherwise you just feel so malnourished. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, that looks good. Dude. We've got here How much stuff did you buy? Not vegetables. <laughs> I forgot here to the vegetables you need to go and weigh them and put the sticker on oh no and then so i got to the checkout and a guy just looked at me just grabbed all of them and just like walked off and then like i held the queue up for like like the queue was just like way back there off oh uh, you're that guy you're like, that oh. guy did you know we have to carry all this on our bikes right <laughs> oh mate mate dinner time's gonna be mad yeah really yeah it's gonna cook a feast for us oh, guys it's gonna be good. oh yeah <laughs> So we're finally back on the road and out of town. Very, very slow start to today, but we certainly made the most of it, didn't we? Zone 0 0.5. Mate, it's 42 degrees today. I don't understand. Imagine if the sun was out. Imagine. How is it so hot? I think this is the hottest place of the whole trip, though. Like, yeah, because it's the one closest yeah. to the Sahara Desert. Exactly. The Sahara Desert isn't that far from here. Back up into the mountains today and hopefully a bit cooler. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That actually kind of hurt. My eyes. We just got <laughs> caught up by a little sandstorm there and uh, pretty much knocks us off our bikes. Being pelted by sand is not that much fun. Where are the camels at? There's no camels. I was promised camels. <laughs> I have my money back. <laughs> <laughs> That 
is some of you. What are we gonna do, Harry, off already? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that path over there, let's go. That's a no then. <laughs> oh! Hey, we're doing well. We're almost there. It's not too bad. So they're it? like, we've done a long distance. I know, but that's the whole point of today. There's only 45k to go. <laughs> so, yeah, less than 10k to go today. I know it's a short day, but still feels just as good when you get close to that destination. All right, mate. Hi, right, Joseph. Wow. So about a kilometre from the campsite now, we've been following this river all the way up this mountain. I'm hoping this campsite that Harry's found is nice, has a shower, a restaurant, somewhere to get water, and then we can set up camp and have a chill out evening. It's literally just there. Oh. Were you having fun, Harry? Let's see if me that lorry. When we turned up a few hours ago, we intended to camp, didn't we? Yeah. We fully intended to camp. We're not even lying. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go on, Harry, tell us what happened. Well, I mean, we could could have camped over there, but the floor is like hard and stony. Rocks. Just you're on rocks. For how much? A hundred the ram, so a, a tenner. Or? Or a room for 150. Oh, tough decision. I, uh, I, don't, yeah, I don't know how so we decided. Yeah, we, yeah. We, we were torn, weren't we? I, mean, I really <laughs> wanted to camp instead of a bed, but, you know. <laughs> we decided to have the hotel room. Um, I know it feels like we're trying to get out of camping, but we're not. We've, we've got some incredible equipment, some amazing tents, thanks to Cotswold Outdoors. So if you haven't already checked out those guys, they are the UK's best distributor of everything outdoors. So we will be doing a much better and closer look into all of our kit tomorrow when we will be camping once again. Well, that's the idea anyway. And it is stunning. Absolutely stunning. That's it. Water, that's what we need. Yes. Right, what, 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 what Chef Carrie, what are we cooking tonight? Uh, pasta. Yeah. Onion. 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 Um, <laughs> zucchini. Tuna. Um, tuna. Everything in one bowl. Um, I got, I got a singular pepper. Oh. I found all of the, all of the stuff, all of like this kind of stuff is like all really old. Yeah, we're like out of date, like two years ago. Still tastes good. I like them. It's just air, isn't it? Air doesn't really go out of date. <laughs> DJ Harry cooking up a storm, yo. So whilst food is cooking over there in the background, I can tell you a little bit about how our plans have had to change. So originally we wanted to do a lap of Morocco, which was about 816 miles. But as we've just found out in the last couple of hours, the UK government are thinking of putting Morocco on the red list, which is not good for us. We will have to leave the country unless I want to stay in a hotel quarantine and pay a lot of money. Pretty much we can do. It, like, it literally is what it is. So tell us it's... tell us what, what we decided on. So instead of going all the way up to Fez and then round and back to Marrakesh, we're going to just go to Fez and then fly home, right? Yeah. Then I've got to get to Spain and now I have the problem of uh, all the Spanish authorities in Morocco and they've had a fight and now uh, there's, no, there's no ferries going to Spain. So now I have to get a flight to Spain. So I booked a flight in a bit of a panic this afternoon, flying back from Fez via Spain. This is our vegetables. Veggie tables. Oh yeah, oh, yeah baby. There's somewhere. You wanna show us what we've brought with that? Nice, dude. Yeah, dude. Can you, can't go wrong with tomato sauce, can you? Nah, mate. I want it to rain so bad. Wait, can you hear the... The rumble is not a thing like I've heard before. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> this country is mental. Nothing's happened yet. Snow, snow angels. Oh, I mean, you see that? Lightning. Huh? Yeah. That was lightning. So we were looking at our phones just now and it said thunderstorms. And we were like, nah, surely not. But as you can hear, that's, that's thunder. I mean, we're literally staying in the mud house tonight, so hopefully it doesn't rain. <laughs> imagine that, imagine that you just wake up and the roof's gone. Yeah. It's just covered in mud. Like. We're gonna go to bed, so thank you so much for watching. Shout out to Cam Cycling for sponsoring this series of videos. If you haven't already checked them out, please make sure you do. As usual, please like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Dude, I just got a spot of rain. Yeah. <laughs> see you on the next one. Ciao. <laughs> We've been praying for this moment. It's finally come. Oh. Sit there. It's rain. Rain.